Hi, everybody. It's been a while. Like, 14 months, I guess. Sorry. I know I am really sorry. A lot of people have reached out to me and wondering when I'm going to record, and I'm doing it. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I think January of 2023, and now it's January, February, and now it's April 21st. Here's Megs. I know you all missed her so much. <laughs> She's getting a haircut this week, but so I just thought I'd finally record a video. It's been a while. Um, in all transparency, my stitchy bug was kind of gone last year or some. I didn't stitch nearly as much as I normally would. This year has been a different story. I've been stitching a lot and I have so much to show you. So I thought what I would do is a whip parade because I've started new things. I've gotten rid of some whips that are gone now. Um, and so I thought I would go ahead and do that. Um, if you're new and you just happened upon this, my name is Shannon. I'm the Soda Stitcher. So I'm from Minnesota, which thus the Soda Stitcher. And this is Maggie. Everybody loves Maggie. She is very, very scruffy looking. She's looking out the window. Say hi to the people. Can you say hi to the people? <laughs> oh. So anyways, gosh, what's new in my life? I mean, honestly, not a whole lot. My hair's staticky. It's dry. Um, honestly, not a whole lot. Um, I'm working and stitching and we're getting ready to go back up to the camper for the season. And yeah. So it's been a long winter, but grass is finally green here in central Minnesota, and my willow tree has getting some leaves on it, and gosh, I don't know. Honestly, just really, I'm <laughs> really boring. <laughs> but I want to show you what I've been up to with stitching. I'm going to go ahead and put Maggie down and um, get started. I have a first, I have my chair here, and I um, have it sorted from oldest to newest. Um, I'm going to have to take breaks in between um, so that I can refill my chair and put things away because I just don't want to end up with a big mess. Um, I do have some finishes, so if I have time, if this doesn't go too long, I might show those. Otherwise, I'm going to try to record, try to record fairly regularly, maybe. I don't know, I will try my hardest. But, all right, let's put Maggie down. All right, so let's start with my oldest whip, which is from March 6th of 2013. I know, 2013, 11 years old. Um, it is Aurora Cabin by Dimensions. And none of these are ironed, I'm gonna tell you that right now I haven't ironed anything um, I'm going to be zipping um, and putting things away just because gosh anyway um, this is where I'm at with Aurora cabin this is what it looks like you guys have all seen it it's beautiful I love the northern lights some my favorite thing in the whole wide world, but this is where I'm at. I've got a lot done. <laughs> um, so I don't know why I don't pick it back up. I don't know. I just, part of me is I really hate stitching on Ada. I just have a few projects. I just did a huge de-stash and got rid of all of my Ada. Um, and do you want to get out? Um, just got rid of all my Ada, and so I still have a few projects that are on Ada, but I just don't enjoy it. But um, I'm not going to throw away some of my projects that I have, but um, if I know where the bag's from, I will let you know. I do know this bag is from Becky Noland of Lucy Beam. She sold these on her uh, Facebook group. I bought this a long, long time ago. It's super cute, though. And then I do these little tags um, for those 
projects that don't have my hair's flying uh, it's gonna be a common theme throughout this video if I get irritated off to put it up um, anyways I put these on the bags that don't have a vinyl front so I know what's in them all right hold I'm gonna go let her out all right next is heaven and earth design starry night by Van Gogh now she's pawing on the door um this is on 18 count easy grid fabric and I'm not even very far I think it goes this way not very far at all I started this on September 4th 2019 so that's been a while um, in all transparency when I work on Hades I love working on um, my prints which I'll show you so that is Starry Night by Heaven and Earth Designs. All right, next is Heaven and Earth Designs Farewell to Anger. I started that on January 1st, 2020. Actually, that that is not the next one. The next one is actually Snow Village by Cottage Garden, no, Cottage, Cottage Needleworks. Country Cottage Needleworks. Oh my gosh. Country Cottage Needleworks. This one is on Ada. I started this back on, it was in 2019. I can't remember when. Um, I'm really close to being done on this one. I just have the two more squares to go and then all the back stitching. And it's so cute. I mean, it really wouldn't take me much to finish it. This is on the called for Ada. Come on, get in here. On the called for Ada with the called for colors. And so yeah, just those two more squares left and then back stitching and then I'm done. So I do keep this one in my basket in our living room just because um, those is where I, where I keep projects that I either want to work on or am working on like sales and stuff like that. It's a really cute basket I can show you. It's this basket. Put them in there. So that stays in my living room. Okay, so now next is Farewell to Anger by Leonid Afrimov, Heaven and Earth Designs. This is the Mini Max color, so there's a lot of colors, and I, I love it. I love it. I don't know why I don't work on it more, but like, well, because I work on prints, because I love prints. Yeah, it's so pretty. I love that. Um, and I started that, oh, like I said, um, 1 1 2020. All right. Next is Hands Across the Sea. This is um, Jane Marshall, 1857. I just have the cover sheet printed off because this was a PDF. No, I actually have the whole pattern printed off. That was before I started using my iPad and GoodNotes to stitch. I don't use paper at all anymore. Um, this is stitched on 16 count picture this plus legacy using the Mrs. Seda silk pack. This was a charity for uh, the Australian fires. Um, and this is... I haven't worked on this in forever, and I almost, like, UFO'd this one, but I just kind of feel like about the Mississauga Silk Pack, and I feel like I should use it. <laughs> I did sell some, a bunch of, not bunch, several of my whips I sold um, on my D-Stash, so it was nice to hand them off to somebody else but here's all the Mrs. Seda silk they're a mess in here well there's even more of them but yeah anyways I almost UFO'd this and I didn't um and I don't know if I said I started that on 2 8 of 2020 um this bag somebody made for me I can't remember I'm sorry I I'm probably gonna forget to tell you who bags are from but that's okay 
Um, let's see here. Okay, next is Baby It's Cold Outside by Heartstring Samplery. I have not worked on this since I started it. I started this on 214 of 2020. Again, I love this chart. It's on Ada. I will I will do it at some point, I think. I like it, but that's all I have. <laughs> and this is being stitched on 18 count B stitch me toast. And that's all the further I got. But that's okay. I will get to it someday. I really love the pattern. It's beautiful. We all know what that looks like. What are you doing down there, Megs? Okay, next is Cardinal Points by Long Dog Sampler with the um, Gentle Arts Flosses. I started this on Leap Year 229-2020, and um, that was one that we started. We're going to have it finished by the next Leap Year, which we all know was a couple months ago, and did I finish it? No. I almost UFO'd this, too. Um, it's on Ada, but... I'm not quite like 100% sure like if I want to UFO it. Um, I have a lot left. But it's pretty. It's so pretty. It's just that border. But it's so pretty. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I am not at the point where I'm going to make any decisions right now. That's for sure. Um... So, we'll see. So much to love, bag. We will see. Has anybody else stitched that? I know, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, it was two martini stitcher that started the sale, and um, she finished hers by the leap year, so. Forgot I was drinking that forgot about it okay next is Kringles by Little House Needleworks I love this one so much and I have worked on this I think I worked on it last year in fact um we all know what Kringles looks like and I did make some great progress on this I love it using the called forth flosses and the um called for fabric which is like a Parisian gray of some sort but I did, I can't remember what I all worked on, but I'm glad that I put in some progress, so I think it's just so cute. It'll take me a while to finish this. I know the last time I pulled it out, I finished the roof, and I did two squares, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have the roof done over here, and then this square I didn't have done, and then I did this border, and then I did this square. I'm pretty sure is what I did last time. It's so cute. I just love it so much. So I did put some work into that last year, which I really, really love. All right. And that one I started 4-1 of 2020. I think that was a market release of that year, if I remember correctly. But yeah, 4-1 of 2020. All righty. Next is Project Quarantine by With Thy Needle and Thread. This came out during the quarantine or the beginning of it. Um, May 2nd, 2020, I started this. I actually just worked on this last week. Um, so I made some progress. I finished the H. Um, I, did fin I did the E. I did the tomatoes. And then the bottom where the, the um, thimbles are, and then the X's on the bottom is what I did. I feel like that one's really see-through. There you go. So, yeah, I put some work into that. I almost UFO'd this one because I feel like the margins are pretty tight on this fabric. Um, and But I got these really cool... Um, so when I try to put it in like a Q snap, it would cover too much up. I couldn't stitch on it. And I bought these um, rectangle hoops 
from Amazon. You guys, some of the, you guys use them. They're like a uh, rectangle and they have, on the corner they have the little screw and that worked out perfectly and I could even put that on my um, Elon lap stand. So I was glad to find that because I don't stitch in hand and um, that's why I almost UFO'd it because I was like not going to work on it in hand. Um, next is Emily's House by Lindy Stitches. I just worked on this last month and I put a lot of stitches in it. I love it. I don't know if you guys have been following my Instagram. Um, my Instagram is Shannon Bromo and, um, I've, I've been posting on there pretty regularly. So I finished the house. Um, hold on a second. Okay. I'm back. I went to go get my board thing so I can hold things in front of it. I think that'll be nicer. So I finished the house. I had not even half of the house done. And then I did the peak on the top and did the animals on the top. I had one of the birds done. And then I did a little bit of the grass. That has a lot. It's solid stitching. It's quite intensive. I am stitching this on, mm, I don't know. I think it's the, it's, you know, it's the call for, for sure. I remember ordering that now. I don't have it on my spreadsheet, but Oaken, picture this plus o Oaken. So yeah, Emily's house. Beautiful. I was really excited to get that back out because I love that piece so much. Alrighty. Alright. Next is Lindy Stitches, a stitch for sweet freedom. I don't know why I don't get this one out. Um, I am almost done with this one, and I have been for a long time. So, yeah. Almost done. Um... That's what it looks like. Um, I, I, when I was going to pull it out, was it last year or the year before? It was when I was still doing floss tubes, I think, regularly. I um, didn't have the blue. I don't know what happened to the blue that I um, used for the letters. And somebody, I'm like, I, I couldn't find it, so I had to buy it. But then somebody sent it to me, so that was really sweet. And this bag is by the Pineapple House. That was a cute bag. Okay, next is Halloween. So I didn't say. Emily's House, I started on May 14th, 2020. And uh, Sweet Stitch for Sweet Freedom, I started on 6-1-2020. All right. This one is Halloween Ouija. By Tiny, Tiny Modernist. When I started this, it was a sal. Um, do you want to get out? And I'm using a call for, I think it's Lugana. It's an even weave. I don't know. I can't, I don't, I don't know. I don't use even weaves, so. Oops. Um, I haven't worked on this in forever, so. That is all I have done. But I like it, um, and so I was not going, I'm not, I didn't, I thought about UFing, UFOing it, like, for a brief moment, and then I decided not to. Um, next is Red R Sampler by Hello from Liz Matthews. Once upon a time, I was hosting a sale for this, but... That's been a while. I started this on 6-19-2020. It's so pretty. And what am I stitching this on? Color and Cotton Toasted Coconut, 36 count. All right, I'm back. Um, twi toasted Co Coconut by Color and Cotton. You know, it looks really good. I should get this out. <laughs> It's pretty. I need to get that out. 
and I'm probably going to say that a million times, you know, when we do um, whip parades, we tend to say that, don't we? <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. Alrighty. All right, next is Christmas Garden by Blackbird Designs. We all love that one. And this is in a Garand tote and bag. That's fun. Um, I know this is in one of the books. I don't know which one, but I actually have the, the actual pattern of it. But that's what it looks like. And I am stitching the this on not the call for colors. Um, this is week's dye work, 32 count in the color way linen. And I haven't worked on this for a while either, but here. I have to remember these light fabrics is better on the board. There we go. I have much brighter colorway, which was inspired by Kindred Stitcher Lisa. And I can tell you what I'm using. Um, just kind of do more of a close up. Aren't those colors beautiful? I will tell you what I'm using. Some of them are Gloriana. I think one is not a Gloriana. Okay, so, okay, so Gloriana Old Gold, Gloriana Jacaranda, Gloriana Thistle Green, and then this is Threadworks Averasua in A140. So those are the colors that I'm using. And I love them. So beautiful. <laughs> I just heard my husband trying to swat a fly. We got a fly in the house. I'm like, it's too early for flies, but I guess not. <laughs> um, that we already already told you that was on week's Dye Works Linen. I started that on 724 2020. No, just kidding, 7 one 2020 And then this one I started on 7 2020 And it's Little House Needleworks. Take me out to the ball game. I love this so much because it reminds me of the twins, and I'm a huge twins fan. Um, and that's all I got done. Yikes. I did sub out a color. I, I don't, I can't, the blue is a different blue because the one it called for wasn't bright enough, but... I should get this out and stitch it when I'm watching the twins. Um, I do not have, oh no, 32 count weeks parchment. Oh, and then I, gentle arts dungarees instead of tin bucket. I did document that. Wow, go me. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay, next is Mirabilia Winter White Santa. I haven't stitched on this for a while. I didn't stitch on it last year at all. Um, started on 9-22-2020, and this is what it looks like, and I have all my flosses in here. The beads, I have a bead box that I have them in, so I don't have them in here, but this is a big one, and it's it's stitched on the called for whatever it is. Let's see if it says Twilight Blue Linen by Whitchelt. And I think I last worked on this in 20, 2022. And there we go. Is that upside down? Yes, that is upside down. Sorry, one second. It's always interesting when you're doing a mirabilia and you don't have like the head or anything on you and you're, like, and you're like, is that the top or bottom? There, that's where I'm at. It's beautiful. And this is a big one. 
This is one of the bigger Mirabilia's if I'm remembering correctly. 207 by 278. I guess I'm not sure what the biggest is. I shouldn't say that, but it's a biggie compared to some of them. But I love that so much. I'm surprised I didn't get this out this winter. I don't know why. Um, And then next is Jeweled Bobbles by Chris, Shannon Christine Design. And this is what it looks like. It's just got like the rendering, but it's so cool. Um, lots of beads. And it's not that big, so I was doing the beading as I was going. And it's been years since I've worked on this. Okay, and it goes like this. You can see, let me see if I can get close. See if it'll focus. Uh, it won't. But you can see, if I kind of, maybe if I go like this. There you go. You can see the side view. It's like the beading. It's beautiful. It just has so much depth. Like, if you look at this red one it just looks like that's sunken in like what it's supposed to look like my whole christmas tree is glass blown glass ornaments a lot of vintage ones a lot of modern ones but that's why i fell in love with this one so much because it's stunning um i don't know if i said i started this on november 22nd 2020 and that is that's it for 2020 that's a lot it's a lot from 2020. All right, so I'm going to pause here. I'll be back in two seconds for you. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling out um, the next bunch. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this one I started... On 1-1-2021 Carriage House Samplings, a year at Hawk Run Hollow, and I'm stitching it on 40 Count B Stitch Me Peanut. Fun fact, I really want to finish this so I can start the Christmas one. Um, unfortunately, Stitchville, my local needle workshop, is um, closing. They lost their lease, and they're closing, so... Um, my friend, who's my husband's cousin, who else also stitches, she's the only one in my family that stitches, um, Susie, hi, um, <laughs> we went down there a couple Saturdays ago, because they were doing 25% off the whole store, and I got so many of the NPIs for the Christmas one, so getting NPIs at 25% off is definitely legit. <laughs> um, so I have not worked on this, I might have done a square last year. Okay, I might have done a square last year. I don't know if I was saying that as I was walking away or what, but I'm halfway done with this one. So I think I'm actually going to put this in my basket and try to get a square done. But oh my gosh, you guys, I'm doing three sales this year and I'm keeping up with them. So just, it's not a lot of time to stitch in between, but whatever. Okay, so this is where I'm at. I am using the NPIs. I love stitching with NPIs. I love this piece so much. I think I'm going to put that in my basket so that I can maybe get a squared on here and there this year. And maybe I'll, you know, we do go up to the camper every weekend pretty soon here for the whole summer. And I stitch so much at the camper. It's so relaxing. So I, you know, I might be able to get, knock some of these off, but I love that so much. Um... Next is Dreaming Girl by Barbara Anna Designs. I almost, um, I almost UFO'd this too because it's just not like my style, but I'm so close to being done. So I don't even have a printout of the wholesale. It's just a, that was part one printout. <laughs> okay. And I think this is on, let's see. B Stitch Me C, C, C Glass maybe? Sea glass, I think. Okay. 
I really like it on that fabric. I always have a hard time remembering which angle to go. So I will finish this um, at some point. I mean, it's not like high on my priority list, but I do like it, even though it's kind of not what I normally would stitch anymore. Um, I, know, I still like it, and I can still UFO if it, I decide to. Um, okay, next. Oh, so that was started on 2-1-2021. Next is Halloween Quaker, started on 2-14-2021. And we all know what Halloween Quaker looks like. I am stitching it on Murky. And I love it. I love stitching it. Excuse me. I love stitching on Pictureless Plus a lot. And that is where I'm at. I haven't stitched on this in a long time either, but I will and get it out. There we go. That floss is the white floss is this it's the glow in the dark floss and then everything else is called for I did buy this I was thinking about doing this for something on it what was I thinking maybe the witch I don't know if I'm going to or maybe I'll use a toile I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'll do what I'll do with that but I did use that glow in the dark floss for the moon and then the spider web. That spider web was not easy. I don't know, you think it would be, but it really kind of sucked and it really doesn't look great up close, but that's okay. That is just fine. Alrighty. Next one is Teresa Colgate. Peacemaker, I started on 420 2021. I might have worked on this a little bit last year. Um, I'm stitching, uh, it doesn't say what I'm stitching it on. Do I have it in here? Sometimes I'll leave the tag in here. No, I have no idea what I'm stitching it on. It's a cream of some sort, and um. That is where I'm at. Her, she's beautiful. So, I think last time I did half of her face, and then I did this, and then that. Why is it so hard to make sure, like, when it's backward or, you know, inverted or whatever, why is it so hard to, like, figure out which way you have to move and stuff? I love her. She's beautiful. Alrighty. Next is All Through the Night, a sheltering tree. I'm stitching this with Andrea. I can't remember what her... Andrea Hearts Needle Art, I think. She is from um, Minnesota, too, and we met at Stitchville and picked this out and stitched it together. I'm stitching it on 40 count fabrics by Stephanie and I don't know what color it is let me see if it's on here it should be on here because Stitchville puts their the color on here um, but this is what it looks like and I had always been so in love with Gloriana harvest grape and that is what I picked out for it And so this is Fabrics by Stephanie Murtog. Um, and it's a beautiful color. And this stitch is really fast. I just haven't taken it out in a very long time. I probably haven't worked on it since that year, to be honest. That variegation is stunning. I don't know why it doesn't want to... When I get close, oh, there it goes. There we go. If I just hold still, it'll focus. Maybe it wants to focus on me. There it does. Okay. 
Anyways, that is such a beautiful color floss. I love it so much. Love it so much. Alrighty. So I started that on 6-18-2021. Next is Needle in Hand by Hello from Liz Matthews. This one was the Acorns and Threads 25th anniversary exclusive. I did the Zoom meeting. Um, I know she's released this since then. The little house says AT for Acorns and Threads. Um, and I started it while we were on that Zoom and really that's, I haven't done any more that little bit <laughs> that's terrible it's so cute I don't know why I don't work on it well we all know why because there's so many to work on but anyways um that one um what date was that I don't think I said the date the date is 6 27 2021 is when I started that I almost UFO'd this one since I hadn't done very much but it's on the call for fabric, and um, I, I do think I will do it someday. Okay. Next is A Changed World by The Scarlet House. Now, Sambri Stitches and I were doing this as a sal, Be the Change sal, a long time ago when we started it. When we started it, it was 7-11-2021. Becca's finished hers by now. I have not. <laughs> Obviously, it's in my whip parade. And these colors are so beautiful. There we go. Maybe it's not. But anyway, it's beautiful. I am don't know what I'm stitching it on. Um... Let's see, do I have a tag in here? Nope, I don't know what I'm stitching it on. Whatever it is, it's pretty. It's, I think it is, I don't know. I think it might be a B stitch me, but I'm not like quite sure. All right, then next is Witch's Hollow by the Primitive Needle. I did work on this a bunch last year. I The last time I worked on it was um, beginning of November at the Farm Girl Gathering Retreat. And I have one more section left. Um, that's what it looks like. I have this bottom section to go. So I'm getting there. I would like to finish this because I, I was able to buy ABC Hornbook and I really want to start that. I also have Tombstone Spots and I have some more of the samplers to do. I have quite a few of the Primitive Needle, um, primitive needle charts, so I should finish this so I can work on some others, but this is a biggie. There she is. She's beautiful. I'll just kind of go closer. Yeah, I just love it so much. Anyways, this, if you don't know, this chart is extremely hard to find. I was lucky enough to buy it quite some time ago with the fabric it was a pretty penny um and i am going to borrow it to olivia pumpkin hollow quilts after i'm done she's i promised her a couple years ago i'd borrow it and i know that she's probably not you know in any huge hurry but she will be stitching it next so and then i have who else? Somebody else wanted to borrow it. Oh, I think Laura Love wanted to borrow it after that. So it's spoken for for a long time. Okay. I got a cube. <laughs> um, next is Miss Ladybug by Nora Corbett. 
and that's what she looks like. I started this, I don't know if I said, I uh, started Witch's Hollow on 8-8-2021, and then Miss Ladybug, I started on 8-23-2021, and this is what I got done. These are really quick. I don't have a whole lot left. And then the beading, of course, but... Yeah, I, um... I don't know what fabric it is, to be honest. I don't think I wrote it. No, I didn't write it. I'm not sure. Alright, next is With Thy Needle and Thread, Santa Stops Here. Um, this was from the Farm Girl Gatherings Retreat when this came out, and then she released it a year later. Um, so I have the... Brenda signed this, and then she signed my chart. And I have all the colors in here, because it came with all the flosses. And then I did work on this last year. Um, I got so much done on the house, on the bricks. So I'm really happy with that progress. And if I remember cor correctly, I used the wrong color on one of the, some of the bricks. And I don't know, I can't remember if I pulled them out or not, but I just think they look so cool. Totally reminds me of a mana, which was where the retreat is. Um, and all of the houses in a mana, so it's just so cute. And I keep that, just keep it in the box. All right, so I started that at the retreat, 10-16-2021. Next is a sal that Jan Hicks creates. Um, host, was hosting, I don't think she's finished hers yet. Um, but it's the Christmas Advent sal, Crochet a go, go And this is what it looks like. And I did work on this last Christmas a lot. I got quite a few squares done. Um, on the pattern, they go down. It's like one, day one, two, one, two, three, four. They go down, but I wanted to go across, so I switched mine a little bit. Um, and I did quite a few blocks. I think I did the six blocks last year because the first row, I think, is all I had done, and then I did six more blocks last year. So I'm up to 10. And then I have, you know, six more blocks worth of border to do, and then I have to do more border after that. So cute. I love that. All right. And then... Next is, so I started that on 11 20 2021. I don't know if I said that. Then my next start is 1 2 2022, and that's Mini Mandala 3 by Chatelaine. I haven't worked on this in a long time either. Um, I don't have a picture of it. Um, if I remember, I'll put a picture here. I don't know if I'll remember though, but um, this is where I'm at. I'm since it's so little, I am just doing the beading as I go too. You can see. Seeing if I can get it to focus. Guess not, but it's so pretty. Those colors are gorgeous. I did get the kit from um is it called European Cross Stitch? All the flosses. Um I did do MPIs and then here's the beads so I did order that kit it took a long time to come I remember that but that is the only Chatelaine I have um, so that was 1-1 one, one of 2022 so now we're in 2022 next is Winter Comes by Heartstring Stamplery I bought this one it was an exclusive um, on the homespun needlework Facebook group um, it was one of their exclusives through acorns and threads and I got you could get two colorways you could get 
the black colorway or this one and I did get the black and I have not worked on this for a long time I started it on I don't know if I said this 1 2 of 2022 and this is where I'm at that's it that is where I started So I haven't picked it up since then. I do love it. And I will someday. <laughs> this one is a new constellation by Plum Street Samplers. I do have the Heritage Sampler done already on my wall. And I plan on doing the Equality Sampler after this one. Um, I have that whole center section done. It was solid. Stitching. Here. The window's on that side of me, so I'm like, maybe it'll show up better. Kind of blows it out, but uh, I'm doing these on 32 count fabric. I know that. Um, let's see. No 36 count fabric. This is 36 count wet cement by B Stitch Me. But yeah. I love those samplers so much. When we were, when I was at Stitchville, I almost bought another one. It had like a Mayflower on it, and I can't remember what it was called. It's maybe a New World or something like that. Um, and I almost bought it, but I'm not really into those. But I don't know. I didn't. I didn't buy it. Maybe someday. Um, next is Erica Michaels Abra Lowney, 1825. I started this on my birthday, February 8th, 2022, so two years ago, and I have not worked on it for a while. Um, this is what it looks like. Michelle Bendy uh, stitches this one, and I fell in love with it, but this is a beast to stitch. It is a difficult stitch. I will show you why. And I did some color changes um, as well. So these eyelet stitches and the counting, like sometimes they're over three, sometimes it's over two. These eyelet stitches aren't like equal on all sides. Some of them are longer on one side. I mean like it, I think I pulled out some of those like several times and it was crazy. Come on, get in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. In and out, in and out. Um, so, yeah, I love this so much. But it is, and these, this is all over one. And I think I'm using, I don't know what fabric I'm using. Let me see. No. I have no idea. I have no idea what fabric this is. I might be able to figure it out if I go in my leftover drawer because it looks like it did cut it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> this, it's probably my most difficult stitch to be quite honest. Um, I love it though. I think it's beautiful. I love the colors. Like I said, I did change some of the colors to kind of look more like they do on here. When I pulled them, they didn't. Um, so I know Grace and I had one, my daughter Grace and I went to be, uh, Stitchville and I pulled out the called for colors and then we pulled different various colors until I was happy with what I um, came up with. So um, my next one, I started on 3-1-2022, Autumn Town by Autumn Lane Stitchery. And this one, it's fun. I haven't taken this one out for a while either, but the green background is actually the green fabric, so it's really fun. And then I know that I was going to sub some colors out for more variegation, like this orange, the sky. I think I pulled some color cottons that I had. And I think they're in here, but let me show you where I'm at first. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, see the orange? I use a variegated floss. So I subbed out quite a few. 
and I think I have them written on my iPad, but yeah, like color and cotton, Holland blue. And there's some variegation in this for the sky. Color and cotton jack-o'-lantern for an orange. Yeah, instead of I think that's what I subbed out. Um, just to get some more variegation in there. Um, I have so many color and cottons, one from when they very first started, and I think that their color lots have just looked look different now. So sometimes I'll pull from those and, um, oopsie, I dropped it. Sometimes I'll pull from those if I want more variegation and stuff because even if they are called for in something now, I feel like they would just look different. Um, okay, and then the next one is my prints. Um, I'm going to pull this out today. I Hopefully we'll get this uploaded today, if not tomorrow. Today is Sunday the 21st. And today is the anniversary of his death. So I'm thinking it is, is it eight years now? I can't remember how, exactly how many years. I feel like it was 2016 or was it 2018? 2016, I think. Um, but this is Heaven and Earth Designs. Just a second, I need a drink. I'm getting parched. Okay. And I'll put a picture of this in one of these corners. Um, you, if you follow me on Instagram, I have a highlight where I put my progress. And last month, I put almost 10,000 stitches in. And I'm at a little over 20% now. So I think I'm like almost to 50,000 stitches of... A little over 50,000, I think, of 200 and 282,600 stitches. So this is where I'm gonna pull it on here. This is where I'm at. It's big. So this isn't even a quarter of the way done. I am just in awe though how much this looks like the breaststrokes. It's just crazy. So I'm gonna take this out today after I'm done filming this and editing the video. I'm gonna take it out and get started. But I think I'm gonna go across the top now because right here, this is actually the start of his hair. And I don't want to go into that because I feel like once I start stitching him, then I'm not going to want to stitch any more purple. And we all know there's a lot of purple. And maybe I'll try to keep, maybe I'll have tried to keep up the picture so you can kind of compare while I'm pulling it up. But this is big, you guys. Like, it's going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so amazing. Probably, and you know, the funny thing is, as much as like Hades are so, you know, obviously full cover, dense, right? I freaking love stitching on this like so much, and it shocks me because it's a big undertaking. It's, but it's just gonna be, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait till it's done, but we know that's gonna be a while. Although, if I could put 10,000 stitch, almost 10,000 stitches in a month, wouldn't be too bad, would it? Alrighty, so that is my next I've got out. I'm going to go ahead and pause here and take some more out. Okay, I'm back. So I have one more set here and then a few more and then we'll be done. So um, next is What Remains by Blackbird Designs. This was an exclusive to traditional stitches in Canada. When I bought it, I bought their threads as well. Uh, the threads are by fi Fibers to Die For, so I guess I don't know if it's their threads or what, but I bought the thread that came with it. And then it must be on the called for, I'm assuming. And the called for threads are really, really nice. And that is where I'm at. I haven't worked on this since... Well, I started it on 3-29-2022. So, I love the variegation. It's really, they're really, really pretty colors. I really enjoy that. 
Okay. And then I have the Nora Corbett 2010 Christmas tree. I bought this as a kit from Stitchville, but then I you I'm stitching it on. It's a fabrics by Stephanie. Let me see here. I think it should say on here because, like I said, Stitchville with staples it on the corner. So fabrics by Stephanie Winter Wishes. And this is small enough that I'm doing the beading as I go too. It's so, so beautiful. If it fits in a Q-snap, I just do the beading and the buttons and stuff as I go. But if not, then I do them afterwards because it's a little more difficult. You can't put Q-snaps over beads. But this is what it will look like when it's finished. And I'm using, it's like all the Belle Soie, it's like beautiful. Belle Soie is so dreamy. I'm doing another project that I'll show you in a second with Belle Soie, but. The beading is something else, it's so beautiful. I love this tree. All right. And I don't know if I said, I started this on April 8th of 2022. All right. Next is Ann Roberts by Hands to Work. I started this on 4-23-2022, and I started this when we were on the plane to Puerto Rico. Um, gosh, I can't believe it's been two years since we went to Puerto Rico, but I did work on this last month quite a bit. So this is Ann Roberts by Hands to Work. And it is so freaking cool. It's so much fun. All those colors are just great. So when I picked it back up last month, all I had was the vase and the roof, the two chimneys, and the two birds done. Otherwise, I've made, I've made a lot of progress on this last month. So I'm really happy with that. The colors are so pretty. Yeah, that was super fun. Um, I do have the bird that looks like this too. That's really patchy. What is it called? Sir Dandy. Sir Dandy. So I have that one too. They're just super cool. They're just so funky. I just love it. All right, next is Mill Hill Beads and Buttons Autumn Kit, and it is Haunted Mansion. I picked it up and put like 80 stitches in it last month or the month before. Um, so that's all I got done though. Not a whole lot. Um, I ended up having to pull some out though because I realized that I had like one of these columns were off, so I had to pull some out and restitch it. And I did that and then I got irritated and I put it away. So. <laughs> But I will get back to it. I do have a couple of mill hills already done and I have a couple that I have. Um, but yeah, so that is fun. Next is Rhapsody in Blue by Four Oaks Designs. This is beautiful. Um, this is what it looks like. I think it's out of print, but I think I found mine on eBay at one point. And then I am using, ta -da, I don't know what I'm stitching it on, but I'm using a color in cotton that's in that Delft blue color, let me, and it's variegated, it's so pretty. So let me get it on here and then I'll show you the flosses. So pretty. I love it, I love blues and I love greens so much. So the flosses I'm using are Delft Blue by Color and Cotton. So I ordered a bunch from the same dye lot. But yeah, super pretty. Yeah. And I started that on June 1st of 2022. I don't remember if I say it at first, so if I repeat my start date, my apologies. <laughs> okay. All right, next is Strawberry Summer by Owl Force Embroidery. This is one of their kits. 
Um, before all of the Russia stuff, I did buy several kits. I have Kiki Mora, Swamp Witch, Baba Yaga, and then I have Strawberry Summer. Summer Strawberry? Strawberry Summer. One, I'm not sure which way it is. Um, and so their flosses, if you know anything about their flosses, they're just very beautiful. You want out again? They're just, the colors are just so vibrant. They're just stunning. Um, and this is where I'm at. Let's see which way does it go. Like this. They're just so pretty. They're not very big. I mean, obviously, look at, that's the center. So they're not that big. But yeah, whatever the call for fabric is, it's all the kit stuff. Um, so. Then next, okay. I might need your opinions on this. I, I think I got it figured out, but I started stitching this one. It's Moon Glow by Nora Corbett. I just love this. I love her curvy body. I've got a curvy body. I love this so much. Okay, so I started it. And unfortunately, there must have been a little hole in the fabric because when I put it under a Q-snap, the hole ripped bigger. And it's it's in a spot where, um, I just make sure. It's in a spot that is gonna show when you frame it and I don't like that. So that's where I'm at. The hole is right here and it's quite, it's quite a big hole. If you pull on it, it opens up. It's upsetting. And I think this might have been like babbling brook by witch elk or Zweiger or something like that. So I had some fabrics that I pulled out that I'm going to restart it. So that's why it's in my whip. But I have Winter Solstice, which is a completely different color, um, by B Stitch Me. Let me put it up next to this for you guys. And then I also pulled out Aurora by Mystic Fabrics that I think either could work. Although I don't know if this piece of Aurora is big enough, but we'll see. So this is Winter Solstice on 32 Count Lugana. And when I, I know it's a much different fabric, completely different. This fabric has, it's it's one of those ice dyed ones. But when I, I was, um, I put, did a floss toss on this um, with my friend Jaffe and we both thought it looked really good on this, all the flosses. It just looks so different than what, what I have here and what is on here. And then this one would also be an option I just don't know if it's going to be big enough. Um, it might be. It actually might be, you guys. So I also freaking love this. And when I put it over top of this, there's plenty of room on the sides. So I maybe like a two inch margin on each side. So that is another option. And I just, I'm not sure. I. I feel like this one would look better just but then also this one actually looked really good too with all of the different here I'll pull this up here I don't have the DMC's pull but these are like the um, water lilies so you can see they looked really good on it so I think I might try one of those and just see what it looks like. I can always pull it out if I hate it, but I can't I can't see how this was folded. Here we go. So unfortunately I have it in my I have it on my whip list um because I already started it once and I'm really not that far along. I mean, I don't know maybe 1500 stitches, 2000 stitches, I don't know. But regardless, I obviously don't want a hole in it when I go to get it framed, that would be terrible. So anyways, it is really cool though. Wait, that's upside down and goes like that, yeah. 
Yeah, because you can see her tummy and breasts. Yeah. Such a bummer, but it's fine. It's fine. I love it. I'm still going to stitch it at some point. So, all right. Next is Autumn Cloche by Hello from Liz Matthews. I This one's super fun. I love all things fall. No, not so much fall. I love all things like Halloween and spooky and stuff. So, that is what that looks like. And... This is where I'm at. I haven't worked on this for a while. Um, okay, so Moon Glow, the last one I started on 8 1 2022. Autumn Cloche, this one I started on 9 11 2022. And that is where I'm at. How fun is it though? I love it. I remember I was stitching. Isn't it weird? Okay, do you guys do this too? Like, I like associate certain projects with where I was at or what I was watching on TV like it's so weird I know but you guys probably do it too like I remember I was at the camper when I was stitching on this <laughs> oh man I probably started I don't know if I started it at the camper but I definitely was stitching on it one week and I was up there so I remember doing that funny okay next is Margaret Doyle 1850 started on October 20th, 2022, this is Hands Across the Sea Samplers, and this was, I think this was, this was an exclusive with Kitten Stitcher, and that's what it looks like. Last time I worked on this was at the Farm Girl Gathering Retreat in 2022, because I remember showing Teresa Vinette with this, so that's where I'm at. I haven't worked on it since then. I love it. It's beautiful. And it's the called for fabric and flosses. I believe. Let me see if I marked anything different down. Yeah, it must be the called for. So I like that. I don't think I held that up very long. Let me do that again. Oh, upside down. Pretty. <laughs> All right, where are we at? We've gotta be over an hour by now. Let me see. Ooh, hour and 14 minutes. You guys said you missed me, right? <laughs> All right, next is One Stitch at a Time by Lottie Da. This um, was the exclusive for that Farm Girls retreat that fall. I started it there on 11-1-2022. Um, so this has been released now. Okay, I'm back. I have no idea where I left off with. So I think it was with this. All of a sudden it stopped recording. Um, I'm not sure why. But then I tried to save my file. It was 114 minutes, or one hour and 14 minutes long. And then it told me my disk was full. So I had to delete some stuff out of my MacBook and drama but I think this is where I was last at um one stitch at a time I started on 1 11 1 2022 this was the um exclusive for the farm girl retreat farm girl fall retreat in 2022 fall god I'm all flustered now geez um oh, well not that you could stitch off that but I was just going to show you the flosses um and I did put a stitch or two in this just to start it there. That's it. <laughs> that is all I did. A measly, measly little start, but it's okay. It's a start and I will stitch it someday. So um, while it was saving and doing all the things, I did put a bunch of my stuff back so I did get a little more organized, but um, anyways, we have just a few more to go and then we'll be done. Okay, the next is the Halloween Sampler by Teresa Koga. I'm stitching this with my friend Jaffe. It is this one. And we are doing a sale together. We broke it up into a bunch of parts. We're not by any means doing monthly at all. Um, but I love it. We took a picture with where we were at last fall. I'll try to remember to insert it. Um, where I was at last fall with 
um, when because Chisa always goes to that uh, retreat too. So, um, anyways, that is where I'm at. This is on. Okay, this is on. Be stitch me after the harvest, forty count, and I love it so much. So fun. Yeah. Cool. I know we need to. We always we try to Facetime monthly. That doesn't have. We're both so busy. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not really busy, but you know how it is. It's like you just on the weekends you always find things to do, and you know. Anyway, you know what I mean. But we are stitching that, and someday we'll get done. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just I love that so much. All right, next is Botanical Garden by Mirabilia. Um, oh, Halloween Sampler, we started, we decided at the retreat that we are going to do it, and then we ended up starting it on November 16th, 2022. Next is Mirabilia Botanical Garden. And this is what it looks like. She's beautiful. I am stitching this on 32 count... Fortnite Fabrics Anemone. Anemone. Yeah, that's how you say it. The really pretty pink. Um, the call for it was really pink, and I didn't know if I really liked that, but this is what... It's kind of folded, but you can see that's her hand, neck, side of her face, and then some of the flowers. So that is where I'm at on that one. Much smaller than Winter White Santa. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a really pretty color. They do not make fabrics anymore, I don't think. I'm almost positive they don't. Um, I do have some in my collection, but I don't think you can get them anymore. At least I don't think so. At least I've heard. Um, I don't know if some stores still have some of it or not. I'm not quite sure. Next is Margaret Harris by Blackbird Designs. I'm stitching this with my friend Chrissy, but she's finished. I'm a terrible, terrible stitcher, sal person. This is this one. And I did some conversions because I liked... I felt like it looked more pink on the picture, and this was actually like, I bought the call for, and that was like an orange terracotta, and I didn't like it, so then I bought a couple of like Belsois pinks, and um, fell in love with Velvet Rose, um, yeah. I'm stitching this on 36 count B stitch me mocha. And I'm not very far, of course. All right, that's where I'm at. <laughs> not very far, but it's beautiful. And oh my gosh, I love stitching with Belsois. Oh, they're dreamy. They are so dreamy. I kind of wish I would have gotten a bunch when I went to um, Stitchville, but I spent a small fortune on those NPIs for um, Christmas at Hawk Run Hollow, so I didn't. Um, next is Huckleberry Farm, 36, oh, so Margaret Harris, I started on 116 of 2023 Botanical Garden, I don't think I said that, I started on 1-1-2023, 1 -1 so at least now we're into last year. <laughs> Um, so next is Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. Stitching this with Savannah. Um, what is her Instagram name? She does have a floss tube channel. Savvy Stitches. Savvy Stitches is her floss tube channel, I think. Savannah Sue or something like that. I'm terrible about names. Um, but I'm doing this. Savannah Sue. Anyways, on Instagram, I think. But we're stitching this together. She just recently had a baby. But he's so cute. Um, and I'm stitching this on the called for color. Picture this plus shale with the called for colors. And this is how far I got. 
and I loved stitching on this. It was hard to put down when I was stitching on it. It's just so pretty. And this fabric is just dreamy. Usually I don't like that much modeling, but this one is pretty. And you guys all know what this looks like. I'm assuming you all know what it looks like. I'll pull it out. So that one, I, like I said, started on 116 2023. Next is um, Ida Dorothea Lambers. 1806. This is in the Deventer Duo bo uh, book with GGR and Needlework Press when I was in the attic at the attic in um, Mesa, Arizona. It's Mesa, right? Um, I saw the Needlework Press one. It was stunning. It was huge, but I love the um, I love the GGR one, the IDL 1806, so this is it. I am stitching on it on the Called For Weeks Dye Works Beige with all of the Called For colors. And it's on a big piece of fabric because this is a big, big project. I think, let me tell you, it's crazy. Um, 398 by 315. Really big. Started this on 2 of 2023, and I did work on this in February, I think. I put a big chunk in, well, big is relative when we're talking about this, but I did put a lot of work into it. The only thing I had done was that, was this, um, and then I put in, you know, all of this. And so that was quite a bit. But the colors are just so pretty. My lighting's starting to get kind of yucky. Yeah. This is a big piece of fabric. So we know the part that I did is this. And then I think it was this one, this, and then this. So not much in a grand scheme of things and this is a big piece of fabric I don't know how much they'll go out but I decided to start in the center of this piece of fabric because I didn't want to mess up <laughs> and I bought this piece of fabric just for that anyways so I had a panic for a second did I push record I did I did it's good okay and we're almost done. I didn't start a whole lot last year. Uh, well, I, like I told you in the beginning, I didn't stitch a lot last year. Um, okay, I'm really annoyed. Um, the recording stopped again because now I'm gonna look there when the camera's right there. Anyways, just a few more left. <laughs> um, it stopped recording again because it says my disc is full, so now I'm copying 600 items to my external Apple airport thing, but it's going to take a while. It doesn't even tell me what the estimating time is. So we are just going to finish on my phone. So if it sounds different, if it looks different, that's why I don't really care. I'm getting annoyed. Anyways, last May, I started for Manning May. Sal, it's Marjorie Made Stitches, Cam the Stitcher, Bridget the Museum Stitcher, and... Megan the Seattle Stitcher. They started Manning May and they everybody stitches on a Carolyn Manning. And last year I started Halloween hijinks. I don't have a picture of it. Um, but I am stitching this on a Ada, apparently. But you know, these are actually probably best on Ada. Um, and this is where I got um, this is where I got. And so I'm really excited to um get back to this next month and they're already posting it on Instagram and I share that on my um story so I am excited to get back to this this was such a fun one to stitch but it's like so dense <laughs> it's gonna take me forever to stitch this but it's beautiful if I remember I'll put a picture but I probably won't all right because I'm already annoyed <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, it's still copying. It's down to 560 items it's copying onto my airport. So once I get those copied, then I can delete them off my MacBook and then download the video that just cut me off and whatever. Okay, you're getting a video at least. <laughs> All right, next I started on 1 1 2024. So now we're in 2024. Um, that was only one, two, three, four, five starts last year. So now, um, well, I think I had more. I, I had some finishes, but I'm going to have to share those on the next video. Um, but, anyways, so I did start on 1 1 2024, the Modern Folk Embroidery 2024 sale. Um, no time like the present. I love clocks. And so when I saw this was a clock, I had to start it and I am using two colors. Um, I'll put a picture of it here if I remember. I am using Week Style Works 924 and 347. So they're not bright reds as they look on the screen. They're it's they're kind of like this is kind of like more of a navy blue dusty kind of blue and this is kind of like a muted red. Um, but it doesn't photograph well. It's really hard to get pictures, but I, j I finished April, so I'm staying up to date, which is a shock. It's about 3,500 stitches a month, and this is where I am. It's gonna, my phone is not straight up because I'm using my pop socket to prop on, but anyways, you get the gist of it. It's a lot of stitching. It's so fun to stitch though. And with two colors, you know, it really it really goes fast. So I love that. But yeah, those are the two colors I'm using. Jaffe was saying, I can't, I can't believe you for your keeping caught up on that. And I'm like, you aren't kidding me. Crazy. All right, next I am doing the hometown sal. I was working on this this morning. Um, Teresa Colgett's Patreon, she um, does a sale for her top tier, and I, month four, it's a 24-month, 24 24-month 24 sale, and month four just got released, so this is going to be hard to show, but I'm not taking it out of the shoe stamp because I'm currently working on it, but you can kind of see the so I have a house to do here yet, and then there's like a couple flowers and maybe a lamb or something yet, but so cute. It's it's quite big. It's, it has a lot of houses and um, make sure I don't lose my needle. A lot of houses and so yeah, it's, it's a hometown. So obviously, um, let's see if I can. There we go. And then the last one, we're down to the last one. I I had major FOMO. I mean, I don't really like I don't really like the word FOMO. Actually, I don't really like that. But I had FOMO. Um, the Nola Crow Nola Crow cross stitch. Lola Lola Crow Nola. I love New Orleans, so Nola on the brain. Lola Crow cross stitch. I the um, garden, the greenhouse one. Oh my god, I loved that. And as I saw that evolve, I was like having FOMO. So I decided to start um, the newest one, the Deadly Aquarium Sal. She released the outline part of it so far. You guys, there are so much stitches in this outline, like crazy. This is where I am at. Here, I'll put my board. This is where I'm at. And that's a lot of, I think that's like 2,600 stitches or something already. And I'm like, gotta go down here and then I have another one over here. And then there's some birds and grass and I don't know, or we, I don't know, weeds. What I think, I think the grass is like something deadly too. I think if the birds up here, there's some birds over here. Those are deadly. Anyway, she, in the chart, the parts that she adds that are the add to the deadly part of it, she explains what they are. Um, but this is where I'm at. And this is on picture this plus. Oh, lock, lock, maybe. I think maybe not. 
I can't remember the name of it, but it's a picture plus fabric, but that's where I am at. Oh, sorry, that was loud. So, yep, it's still copying 165 items. Um, so that is it, you guys. How many whips was that? I'm going to push pause or just take a chunk out of the video and I'm going to count because I didn't count. Okay, so it's 52 whips, um, but I also have the last two Country Cottage Needleworks listed on here. So I count that as a whip. So 53 whips um, for if I add the Country Cottage Needleworks, the Snow Village, that's what I was talking about. Um, so 53 whips. That's not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Um, I don't know what finishes I'm going to have this year. I did finish a couple already, um, but I'll show that in the next video. I'll try to remember to um, record soon, and I'm going to see if I can get Maggie. Maggie! Say bye. Can we say bye to everybody? <laughs> All right, well, if you lasted this long, I suppose it's like an hour and 20 minutes by now. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry it's been so long. I hope you enjoy this. Share with everybody so I can, you know, people can see my whip parade. I would really love that. If you have any questions, just list them below. Um, otherwise, I'm on Instagram, Shannon Bromo. And yeah, I'm going to hop off here, you guys. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a good day. Bye.